Hello everyone, right here I have a 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 VTIL. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Standard on the facelifted 9th generation Accord range in Malaysia is Honda's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the front door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So, to start the Accord, Make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake. And press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. A rack and pinion electric power steering system is what the Accord CR uses. The VTIL trim came with a leather steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. A 5 speed automatic transmission with low gear selection was the only option for the 2 litre engine. Front and rear parking sensors were standard across the range, while the VTIL trim was the only one that got a reverse camera with active guidance signs and several different views. The brightness of the reverse camera display can be adjusted. The facelifted Accord VTIL got safety features such as 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, vehicle stability assist, wheel start assist, emergency stop signal, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. Seventeen-inch, seven-spoke, two-tone alloy rims. What came with the facelifted Accord 2.0? The tires are Goodyear Excellence units, and they measure 22550R17. The front gets ventilated disc brakes, while the rear gets solid disc brakes. The suspension is made up of McPherson struts in front and a multi-link setup out back. Honda has been producing its Accord for ten generations since 1976. The 9th generation Accord was produced between 2012 and 2020 depending on the market. With this Accord generation, it is the first time since the 4th generation model that there is no separate smaller model for the European market. The 9th generation Accord was offered in either 2-door coupe or 4-door saloon body styles. The former was only available in North America. CR and CT are the code names for the saloon and the coupe body styles respectively. Honda unveiled the Accord CR in August 2012. It was then given a facelift in 2015 for the 2016 model year, before being replaced by the 10th generation Accord in 2017 for the 2018 model year. However, certain markets still sold the Accord CR until 2020. The Accord CR was on sale in Malaysia between September 2013 and September 2016 for the pre-facelift model, and between September 2016 and February 2020 for the facelifted model. This Accord is powered by the R20Z 2.0-litre, single overhead cam, 16 valves, 
naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine. This engine uses multi-point fuel injection and IVTEC technology. It produces 153 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 190 newton meters of torque at 4300 rpm. The fuel tank measures 65 liters and the combined fuel consumption for the Accord 2.0 automatic is 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers. The Accord is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the facelifted Accord VTIL include automatic manual leveling halogen projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, chrome door handles, and a single chrome exhaust pipe. Speakers right there and down there, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window lock, central locking, and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the front two windows are the only ones that get a full automatic function in both directions. Econ mode. Vehicle Stability Assist, Parking Sensors This one turns off the interior sensors for the alarm system Headlight Level Adjustment Storage As the lever says Pull it to pop open the boot lid and push it down to pop open the fuel door The driver's seat in this Accord VTIL does get full power adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there including your two-way power lumbar support. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
Alcott's parking brake is foot operated. The pedal is located right here and it is currently engaged. To disengage it, push the pedal out and to engage it, simply push the pedal back down. Dual zone automatic climate control system, on off button, automatic mode, driver side temperature, sync means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control the temperature for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature controls. Air conditioning, fan speed, different modes, recirculation, front and rear defrost, and passenger side temperature. Storage together with a USB port for charging. More storage right here together with a power outlet or a cigarette lighter and an ashtray depending on what you use it for. The Accord VTIL came with an integrated touchscreen head unit. The system features a 7 inch infotainment display, a 7.7 inch IMID multi information display and various media connectivity options. Sound is provided by six speakers. The stock sound system that the Accord uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information, volume level, Bluetooth device name, right here you have the album name, song title, and artist. The album name and artist will only show up if present. And below, play pause, you can change the group, go back a song, go for the song. If you hit source, you can select your desired media option, hit menu, and you can search for music, bring up your settings, and adjust the sound. Right here, bass treble, fader balance, speed volume, and restore back to default. To go back to the home menu, hit the home button right above. And right here, we are in the home menu. You can select audio, Info. Under Info, you can select your trip computer or system device information. Right here, you have your current drive information, range, and history of trip A. If you hit Menu, you can select system device information, and obviously you can select your system information, and also view USB information if available. Smartphone connection, if available, app list, settings, right here you have your clock information, audio, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi system, vehicles, so on and so forth. And phone, right here you have your speed dial, call history, you can look at your phone book, if you hit menu, you can speed dial redial a number, dial a number, and look at your phone book again. And down below, settings. You have your various pages, so you can customize the home page, depending on what you prefer. Right above, you have your eject button for the CD player. This one allows you to adjust the brightness. You can dim the display or turn it off completely. CD player, power button, home, volume, menu, and back. Now, you have a secondary display right above, control, using your set of controls right here. 
menu you can go between your audio menu, phone menu, display settings and if you hit the top button you can select your media information and a split screen display central locking this car does have power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in push this button right here wiper controls these set of controls right here they not only control your central display above, but you can also use it to control the volume, seat track, and select your desired media option. Bluetooth telephone controls, voice control, cruise control, light and indicator controls. If you locate the button at the end of the light and indicator stalk, you can bring up your lane watch camera and you can also bring up the lane watch camera if you turn on your left indicator. To go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster, use this button right here. Currently, mileage and trip A, range and trip A, average fuel consumption and trip A, average fuel consumption and trip B, and back to your mileage and trip A. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using the receiver right here. Storage. Cup holders. You can remove the partition to use it as storage instead. Front center armrest with storage below. You can find a power outlet, a HDMI port, and a USB port right in there as well. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. Front reading lights. Sunglass holder. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror. And the driver does get a grip handle. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Storage, ashtray, window control, and sunshades for the rear windows. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get slightly more than this. 
and I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents in the middle. Rear centre armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and lights. There is a hook for the right side as well. Cabin light. To open up the boot lid, go towards the boot lid itself and locate a touchpad right here. Boot space in a cord is 461 litres. For extra space, fold the one piece folding rear seat bags down using the lever on the top of the boot. On the top of the boot as well is a light and on both sides of the boot are hooks. Under the boot floor is a vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit and jack. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Speakers, bottle holder, storage, window control, and the front passenger seat in this Accord does get full powered adjustments as well, with all of the controls located right down there. Lockable glove box. It is of a nice size. It is illuminated as well. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well.
Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 VTIL. Thanks for watching and goodbye.